Well, people, we are, you know, the festival has started and today we had the fortune of checking out the Royal Hotel. This is the new film from Kitty Green. She co-wrote it with Oscar Redding. Uh, the film is produced by Ian Canning, Kath Shelper, Emil Sherman, Liz Watts. It is executive produced by Simon Gills, co-produced by Libby Sharp, and associate produced by Billy Bowery and Catherine Briddle. Jed Palmer handled the music. Michael Lafram, cinematography. While Kazra Razolzadigan edited the piece. Kirsty McGregor was on casting duties. Lee Popple, production design, art decoration. We have Troy Diggan and Marriott Kerr was on costume design. The hair makeup was Monique Muskins, Cassie O'Brien Pollard and Jennifer Rossiter. So our cast. Well, Hannah is played by Julia Garner, and her best friend Liv is played by Jessica Henwick. Um, we have got do, 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 out Torsten, who they meet on the party boat, played by Herbert Nordrum. We then have got Billy, the bar owner, played by Hugo Weavering, and his girlfriend, I think, Carol, played by Ursula Jovic. There's Jules, played by Alex Malone, and Cassie, played by Kate Chill, the former bar, 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 women, wait, bar, people that work in, bar maids? That's the expression? Oh, God. Um, then we got some of the people that frequent the bar, like Teeth, played by James Fretchville. Um, there is do, 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 do. Dolly, played by Daniel Henshaw. Um, Darren, played by Bruce R. Carter. Matty, played by Toby Wallace. Simo, played by Craig McArdle. Wayne, played by Len Firth. Crackers, played by Joel Hartgen. Um, we have got Galenda, played by Barbara Lowing. Uh, Spanners, played by Ben Eggleton. Macca, played by Adam McNeil. Keith, played by Adam Morgan. Kev, played by Nick Dorigo. Um, there is Tommy, the the, the uh, delivery produce produce guy, played by Baykali Ganamba. Uh, we got Susie, played by Valerie Berry. Uh, the husband and wife played by Patrick Frost and Chrissy Pag. There's Mick, played by Greg Morrison. Uh, so, yeah, the gist of the film, right? Americans, Hannah and Liv, best friends, backpacking in Australia. After they run out of money, Liv, looking for an adventure, convinces Hannah to take a temporary live-in job behind the bar of a pub called the Royal Hotel in a remote outback mining town. Bar owner Billy and a host of locals give the girls a riotous introduction to down under drinking culture, but soon Hannah and Liv find themselves trapped in an unnerving situation that grows rapidly 
out of control. Uh, it says, Kitty Green's tightly coiled social thriller expertly examines male-female power dynamics in a microcosm of Australian society. So, uh, yes, that, people, is the film. And, you know, it starts, I mean, it's very Australian. <laughs> it's very, like, we open up with a dance version of Man Down Under. You know what I mean? So it's on the nose. Very much on the nose. Um, but, yeah, we, we're on a party boat. We're on a party boat. You know, the girls are having fun. Um, but we have Liv go to get drinks. Goes to the bar. Her card not working. She's out of cash. Which then leads, you know, the girls to look for employment. Right? They're on holiday. Not overly pleased about it. But you do what you have to do. And the only job going seems to be that at the Royal Hotel. So, uh, yeah, I mean, everything is a little bit, you know, standoffish at the start, you know. But they get picked up. They go. It's... Uh, not the, you know, it's not the friendliest of places. It's very much run down, right? It is in the middle of nowhere. You know, they're excited because they see a pool, right? <laughs> but because there's nothing else there. Uh, and look, I think feel wise, yeah, I think feel wise, tonally, it 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 works very well. Uh, there did seem to be, and I don't know if it was just me, but the audio, right, dialogue, especially at the beginning, um, when, you know, the bar was very busy, when they're on a party boat, it was very hard to hear what was being said in places. So that might just be a me thing. I don't know. But yeah, so we got that. And the acting was you know, the acting was good. The, you know, we know that um, Jessica and Julia are very good actresses. You know what I mean? We, we've seen their work. They're very good. So, you know, Hugo Worthing, just everyone involved, good performances. I think the script, like, there was a lot of promise but it, it it just seemed to kind of pitter out, right? So, you know, as it said, it's like this examination of male-female power dynamics. And you thought it was building into some things. Now, it looked like it was going to go in some places, which you were just like, I hope it doesn't, right? Because that's a bit like we've seen it before. But it doesn't do that. But then it doesn't really do anything, right? Because they're in the middle of nowhere. We're in this bleak situation. It's very problematic. But I feel what we then get, you kind of think it feels a little, uh, I don't know, unrealistic given the circumstances, you know? I don't know. I suppose this, this is based on um, true events, but I'm not quite sure what, right? It doesn't really specify what. Um, there is a part, of, because there's people that definitely reek of suspiciousness, I'm not sure if that's a word, but they, yeah, you think they're shysty. There's something going on with the, these, these motherfuckers. And then, um, so you get that ominous feeling and something happens, I'd say maybe two thirds in, 
which you then go, oh, yeah. That, I mean, it did seem that. But then nothing happened with it. Right? There's this thing, and then just nothing. And you're just like, wait, but what about that? What are we doing with that? You know, so there are these incidents, right? Also, you know, the girls are meant to be best friends. And I feel that you know your friends, right? You know their behavioral patterns. And the way, you know, Liv is acting, you kind of think Hannah would be, because Hannah seems the, the more um, self-conscious of the two. The, the one who takes responsibility, you know, she does things, right? But she seems more thoughtful, right? Because you know Liv's credit card is bust, but it, it seems Hannah's probably got money. But they've got to do it because if she's the only one with money, they're going to be, you know, in problems. But Liv is, you know, she wants to do this adventure. And it's due to something that's happened, but we never really find out what. I mean, we never, we yeah, we just never find out. So Liv is running from something and she's reckless. And you just think, I don't know if someone like Hannah is traveling with someone like Liv, you know? So we have these weird situations, these dynamics that, you know, are, are, are there, they're seeded, but then, I don't know, it just felt like they don't go anywhere. You know, it's very... Like, it's very stereotypical of Australian, you know, the perception of Australia, right? Everyone's saying, you know, see you next Tuesday, right? You know, um, we've got the just the drinking and just all of that. I, I think treating women in a certain way, the the racism, which, again, is there, but then it's nothing happens with it, right? So it, it, it seems, you know, just as I said, it starts off with the, the dance version of Man Down Under. So it's very stereotypical, which is fine, but, yeah, I don't know. We just don't go anywhere. Like, it ends on a kind of empowering note but you are kind of scratching your head a bit well I was anyway you know what I mean? like I can see the attraction of the film for sure and I will say this everyone in the screening was laughing you know so it's working for people I just I just wasn't quite sold to be honest with you, people. But, right, so, you know, today was its first screening. And um, you do get another opportunity. It will be playing on the 8th of October. That's Sunday at 3.20. This time, though, it's at the Prince Charles Cinema. So, um, yeah, people, you have that it's English language, so you don't have to worry. Um, there is some violence, and you know, you know, but yeah, it is pretty, you know, it, it, it's there, right? I think the, the screening on the 8th will have um descriptive subtitles. You know, so, um, yes, if you have access needs, the eighth is the screening to check for sure. So, yeah, there you go, people. The Royal Hotel.